So today I wanted to do something that you guys will probably guess what it's going to be because you've read the title. But I want to carry on doing my comics. If you're new here, I draw and write comics. And I want to carry on doing the character design for my main character who does not have a name yet. So if you have any suggestions down in the comments, you never know, maybe you will be the character namer of this character. So this character, I have done a few things already. I've done some headshots and some sort of expressions to try and get to grips with like who the character is and i really like this one which is kind of like more round the skin color is too bright here i've done some other stuff like this was initial concepts um for her so if you guys are new here um don't know me i write comics and i've written a few already so sorry there's a train but we're very casual here on this channel also grab your coffee and settle down but i've written a few already um wishing on a star and slow and all at once disappearance of olivia newbury which i wish was a shorter shorter title because i've time I say it I'm like what is it again I can't remember <laughs> and uh, yeah so I want to emulate these styles and I do really like these styles so I want to you know go for it uh, Emily is burning is a little bit different because she has like paper background as her like colors except for the, the pink of her like cheeks but yeah so I want to not do that again but I do like the style of having like just the white come through but yeah, I think I think it's done. I think I've done it there. Um, so I've got the script written out here, but I don't necessarily have ideas about the character done in my mind. So I've got my handy dandy pencil here and we're gonna start sketching out some ideas about her because we need like maybe some like thought process about who she is as a person, MC, because I don't know her name yet. Uh, again, tell me down in the comments. So she likes thrifting. She lives alone um, She calls her mum who lives on the other side of the country. We know that in the script So she's probably close to mum I have a feeling that the dad is not in the picture then because we don't mention her in the script But I see her more as like a homebody who likes to decorate and take care of her space So I'm trying to think like what would she like as a as a person like what would she like to eat? What are her hobbies except for thrifting? Um, what does she do in her spare time? What does she work as? Um, but yeah, so kind of got like a little bit of more rounding out the character. So I want to look at what I've done for her face. <laughs> her face. This is like a really nice. So I've kind of like done this like round face, right? And then the cheek is like out. And I think she is very soft. I think she's like a nice person. Quite young as well. Maybe this is like not the first time she's lived away from her mother but maybe like the first time she's kind of across country from her mother i really like this style of hair as well where i've just done like where i've just done like three sort of like sharp angles for her the back of her hair just so it could be like a little bit more consistent when i'm drawing her yeah and then the mouth i'm not sure i've done like a line but i'm not sure if that's expressive enough if i look at the characters that i've done for my other comics. I've done just a line, but then also I've done like color around the lips to indicate where the lips are in some cases. Like it depends how like zoomed in on their faces they are. This is kind of her at the moment. I'm pretty sure that's not her because yeah, this is definitely looking more like the character I envisioned. Um, her eyebrows are a little high now, but I think that kind of works eyebrows would not be like so okay this is looking messy but i'm gonna go in with uh, oh, also if you're new here this is gonna be a horror comic <laughs> lots of people tell me they're like eh? like how does that style correlate to horror and i really i kind of like the way that it doesn't really fit if that makes sense like it's too it's kind of cutesy my style and textured and a bit out there so sometimes people don't think it works but i really like the the juxtaposition to use a big word and of like using these cutesy styles with horror I really like the way that I drew like her body shape here where it's kind of just like the limbs are really thin maybe we can give her like chunky pants <laughs> I really like that body shape but it was a shame that I just drew it way way too small so we've got the idea now of what we want a little bum bag action is that a bum bag don't know well let's do slightly longer legs 
feel like once I get some colour down and then when I go over the lines a bit better with um, the pencil I'll use then I feel like it will be better but for now it's not looking awful but it's just it feels the head and the body feel a little bit disconnected so I feel like she, like maybe we should make her a bit more cartoonish on the body So now I'm just going to rub out the lines a little bit and uh, let's pick some colours. I mean I kind of like it like when you can see the rough um, pencil lines underneath and also we, we need to remember that this is just clearing the brain cells and like trying to get them to figure out something like who is this person and what would she look like you know. So it's not going to be perfect, but with, with each drawing, I feel like we get closer to figuring out puzzle pieces of who this character is and, you know, these are kind of the colours I'm thinking. Um, ignore the lights, it's just because sometimes maybe they look darker when you put them down. Um, and then you can also layer colour. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is test out the swatches of these up here and uh, see what they look like. Um, today I'm using Ahuhu markers, um, they sent me a massive like load of them, if you wanted to see my opinion on them I've got another, uh, I've got another video on my channel, that's way too bright but let's just see, it's way too bright as well. These are really nice because I really like using brush pens and I feel like this, this is a nice colour, I think this might be the one. What is this? E1110, I'm just going to note that down because I never note it down. <laughs> I just said E1110, <laughs> E110, um, I never note down the colours and then the next time I'm like what is it, it's kind of nice, yeah, okay, I'm feeling that, I'm feeling that, Kubo what are you doing, what are you doing Kubo, <laughs> no don't walk on my drawing, jeez Kubo, so let's go, let's start colouring and seeing what this looks like, Okay, okay, okay. Seems like we're getting somewhere. I feel like this, these lines are still too dark, but... Okay, uh, so, um, I've said this a million times, but maybe you're new here. I like to use dark colored pencils over the top for the line work. And I'm using today a Faber-Castell Polychromos pencil, which I absolutely love to use. And we're just gonna go in because I absolutely love like the texture of these. So we're just gonna go in and try and emulate the lines that I did underneath already. Okay, so that's kind of what she's looking like. I don't know if I've made her head too big. But also, I wanna give her like cheeks as I always do. Okay, so I like the way that this character came out. Um, so I'm gonna draw, like I'm gonna get some, what's it called, the reference. <laughs> I can't remember the name of it. I've got a nice reference here that I think she might sit in. So I'm gonna try and draw it, but with this character, if that makes sense. So I'm just gonna rough out like the shape of the pose. And don't forget, like if you're drawing from real life to just kind of remember that when you draw the negative space should be the same as the image so in this image you can kind of see like this kind of shape here so i know that that's how far away from her body it should that arm should be I need to sharpen this pencil but yeah this is kind of probably like a more realistic pose than this character design that i've done here but <laughs> I feel like there's more to her here, even though it's less cartoony, I feel like, I don't know, I'm kind of resonating with the character a little bit more, although I do feel that she's coming across younger than maybe she is, I don't know, maybe she's like 25, so I feel like she's coming across as a bit of a teenager maybe, which I don't really see for her, so. Like I said, every like drawing that you do of your characters is just like a step closer to understanding what they're going to look like and who they are. Actually, what I'm going to do is, yeah, put the colours here so I can remember that this is like her cheeks, 
you know, little stuff. I mean, obviously the stuff can all change still because we're still in like the fun stage of just experimenting, seeing what works, what resonates. And yeah, it's just seeing how we feel about this direction. I feel like, yeah, I'm definitely drawing her a little bit too young, but also I guess it would work. She's a different generation to me, so I'm gonna draw her here. Okay, so I've got the face. Again, I don't want to do it too big. Yeah, I'm really trying to exaggerate this jumper a little bit. Yeah, I like this stuff, this one for sure. Feeling like it's more her. Don't know, what do you guys think so far? So let's try and colour her in. Okay, um, I like this blue. I feel like this blue is going to work for the jumper. Yeah, so the jumper is like crazy oversized, but I think it's really cool. I think it's working. Cool, okay, um, we're getting there. I feel like we're getting there with this character. I feel like I'm seeing her. And we've gone from like this to this, so I think it's working. Yeah, definitely liking her. Um, what do you guys think so far? Like, what do you think of the character? Do you think she's resonating with you? Or do you think it's not working? Let me know. I would love to know your thoughts and feelings about how this comic is going. And like I said, if you have a name for her, uh, let me know. Maybe you'll be the one to name this character. Uh, could work, could work, guys. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna call it for today. But thank you so much for watching and I hope that you kind of like this uh, style of video of just explaining the character design and what I'm doing and I will probably keep like going with this. So let me know if you want to see more and I would love to show you more. And yeah, thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!